YouTube, time for another update. Printer is coming along. I've been unable to locate a 5 16 inch linear bearing anywhere. So, in the meantime, I designed and printed out some uh, IGUS style bushings. Don't know how they're going to perform, but the motion seems to be fairly reasonable. It's not extremely smooth, there's a little bit of tension to it, but I expect that they will wear in. As you can see, there is movement there, forward and backwards. If I move just one of the belts, we move diagonal. Although the tension seems to be dragging a little bit on the one motor. So, but when the motors themselves run, I expect that they will compensate to some extent. See, at this point here, both motors are turning even though I'm only pulling on the one cable. So there's a little bit of drag going on here. But if I move it diagonally, the motor stays where it's supposed to be like it should. Now I've also got my Z axis lead screw set up using a uh, eight millimeter skate bushing or skate bearing to stabilize the top end of the rod. On the bottom end, I'm using basically a double bracket. The uh, main bracket here is the tip uh, standard motor mount bracket uh, with an adjustment for left and right for uh, squaring everything up. On the back bracket, I've got a forward and backward adjustment on that. And I've got height adjustment here so I can bring it up and down. And room to bring the cable out through the back, keep it out of the way and uncluttered. Next, I'm going to be working on the uh, platform for the hotbed. And the hotbed is something that else that I've got to check because the thermistor on this one broke after uh, half a dozen uses. It cracked right in half. So I had a have a bunch of them sitting around from the LiPo batteries I've been taking apart. So I've got to measure the resistance of this one and set that to the correct value in the firmware when I get ready to flash the board. So at, when I design the platform and the guide rail mounts then I'll be able to at that point get ready to flash the firmware and see if the kinematics are all working. At this point I've got the outline of the full motor travel down and the outline itself is slightly larger than that of the build plate for the A net. So I could go with a slightly larger build plate on this frame. But I'm going to stick with the one that I have for the time being and make sure that everything is working before looking at any other upgrades. I'm trying to keep the cost down as low as possible. But what I will probably be doing will be sourcing some actual 8mm rods to go with the 8mm linear bearings that I already have. So that's it for now. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll catch you next time.